Hello everyone, I'm Sam, a Huawei engineer. Today, I'll be introducing the openness of Fabric Insight. On data center networks, Fabric Insight collects packets such as TCP SYN, FIN, and RST packets, and conducts analysis and calculation to show the association between the network and its applications. In addition to Fabric Insight, the data center may have other big data analysis systems. Many data centers urgently need to figure out how to fully extract the value of big data and improve data usage efficiency. Fabric Insight Data Openness As well as collecting and processing data to analyze and then display, Fabric Insight is very open, allowing interconnection with third-party data visualization applications. Fabric Insight provides numerous types of data tables. Data tables stored in the HDFS cover flow events, TCP sessions, abnormal TCP sessions, network links, network devices, and status monitoring. Such various data tables help users understand the data center network from multiple aspects. Fabric Insight provides convenient data source invoking and can use Druid to randomly extract fields in the data table structure, such as the packet timestamp, packet quintuple, event type, source or destination IP address, source or destination application, traffic, and latency. Related data source fields can be combined to customize network KPIs that are of interest to users. What's more, Fabric Insight can integrate third-party data visualization applications. After being connected to the Druid of Fabric Insight, a data visualization application can capture fields in a specific data table for flexible customization and display of data center network details. Fabric Insight integrates with Grafana. Grafana is an open source software that displays data from multiple platforms, facilitates data analysis for users, and develops a culture of being data driven. Grafana can be easily installed by following the guide on the official website. The non certificate authentication mode of the HTTPS protocol is used for logging into the Grafana server to perform the configuration. Log in to Grafana, add a Druid data source, and configure the following information. Set name to the planned Druid data source name, which must be the same as that configured in the background. Set type to Druid. Set the URL. Set access to proxy, indicating that the Grafana server functions as a proxy to forward browser commands to the Druid for data extraction. Click save and test to check whether the connection is successful. After the Grafana is installed and configured, integrate Fabric Insight with Grafana. Now, let's see how powerful the data capture and display capabilities of Grafana are after interconnection with Fabric Insight. I'll use the interaction between applications as an example. Create the template, select an appropriate graph format, and save the template. We can select the time range to display the required data. Select graph to create the first graph for displaying the number of SYN and SYN ACK events between applications. Enter a title and select the data source. Grafana intelligently captures and passes the data table structure. We can collect this data source to collect statistics on flow events aggregated with a granularity of 5 minutes. Set the interval to 15 minutes to display data with a granularity of 15 minutes. Set the filter condition in an app to 1 to collect data between applications. Set the convergence point to SYN CNT to collect statistics on the number of SYN events. After completing the settings, data is displayed on the page. Set the SYN ACK event statistics in the same way and save the graph. The graphs show that the number of SYN and SYN ACK events is large in some time ranges. This means that the network is busy and further analysis is required to check whether traffic matches with the SYN and SYN ACK events. Choose Carpet Plot to create the second graph for displaying interaction traffic between applications.
set the convergence point to bytes sum to collect statistics on the total traffic between applications. View the graphs to analyze the total interaction traffic between applications. Before 9.45 on April 10th, no SYN or SYNAC packets were exchanged between applications. The synchronization traffic between applications was displayed as zero and represented by the color black. At 9.45 on April 10th, applications started exchanging packets. The synchronization traffic was displayed as the minimum value and represented by the color green. At 21.45 on April 10th, the number of packet exchange events reached the maximum point. The synchronization traffic was displayed as the maximum value and represented by the color red. After 9.30 on April 12th, the number of packet exchange events was roughly halved. The synchronization traffic was displayed as a middle value and represented by the color yellow. In conclusion, when the number of SYN or SYNAC events changes dramatically, the interaction traffic between applications changes accordingly, confirming the interaction between applications in the corresponding time period. In the case of dynamic traffic changes between applications, we need to further identify the traffic interaction dynamics between hosts. Choose Table to create the third graph for displaying host interaction traffic between applications. Select AppC, AppP, IPC and IPP to collect statistics on the host interaction traffic between AppC and AppP. IPC and IPP indicate the IP addresses of the hosts where the corresponding applications are located. We can view the graphs to analyze the host interaction traffic between applications. We can then sort traffic volume to quickly locate hosts with especially high or low traffic. Then, we can check whether the traffic meets service expectations of specific applications, helping us check whether services in the data center are running properly. The three graphs can be displayed on the same page to facilitate data correlation analysis. Based on data analysis and presentation of Fabric Insight, we can further analyze networks and applications according to multiple indexes to extract more value from data. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.